Hello and welcome to uh, the first ever CG Viking tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make 3D text. We're going to cover how to add your text, change font, make it uh, look like it's 3D or extrude the, the text, adding some lights and a glossy material for a, for a finish. So we'll open up a new Blender file press new and reload startup file. Alright, this is the first uh, you'll see when you open up the, the program. We're gonna delete this, press delete and enter or X on your keyboard and enter. Both delete and X will work. Now for adding your text, press shift A, text, then scale it up a bit, press R, X and 90 on your keyboard to make the text stand upright. Now we're going to change the font. Just click this F button right here. This is the tab for your fonts and your text uh, properties. Go down here for and press on the regular folder icon. Press uh, Windows and Fonts. Okay, so we're in uh, this font window. We're going to change it to a thumbnail view so we can see what type of font we're using. And for the tutorial, I've been using this Arial Black open font. Now we want to edit this text. We want it to say something else. So you can press tab and go into edit mode and press backspace. And I'm going to just write text because uh, that's what, what I want to, to have written here. You can write whatever you want. Now we're still in the, the F tab here and we're going to extrude our text because now it's just dead flat. Extrude it to about, I'll say 0 0.100 I think is a nice width for the text. And we're also going to bevel the edges a bit because then we will get that nice like glowing effect when we use a glossy, glossy material. So we're going to bevel it a bit. Just like that. And you see now the X and T are, are clipping in to each other. So we want to to have some letter spacing here. You can, you can drag this however you see fit. But I, I just want to have them separated but not too far apart. All right. Now the edges are like chisel hard or whatever you want to call it. We can make this more, more of a rounded edge just to increase the resolution over here. I think 3 is the best for this. If you go even higher, I don't, I don't really see the, the changes that much. I think 3 is like the sweet spot and you will save some time rendering. So make that 3. Take your camera, press Alt-R. That to reset the rotation of the camera. Press 7 and 5 on your number pad. Press G to move your camera in front of the, the text. Now it's pointing downwards, so we want to flip it. RX and 90 for that. Press 3 again, move it downwards. Now we have some sort of indication of where the, the camera is pointing at the text, but we can't really see what the camera is looking at. So we want to duplicate our window and press 0 on this side. Now we can see exactly what the, the camera is looking at and that's what we want to, that's what we're going to render. So I'm going to change uh, my render engine to Cycles, en Cycles Render and uh, position my camera a bit more to the to right. Now we can start looking at materials and how this will look. Now for looking at our texts. I go down here and press render. Now we can see what is actually going to show when we render out our scene. So we, first of all we need some lights. And you have lamps here. A couple of lamps, point, sun, spot, hemi and area. But uh, we want to use a mesh to light our scene. So I'm added in a plane. Rx 90. Press 7 and just grab it and rotate it and scale it with S. Now I want one on the side. I want to 
shift D and duplicate it. I want one on the front and shift D as again, one on the left. All right. Now you can see on the right side, there's still nothing happening because these have no material assigned to them. We want to make these work as soft boxes almost. So we go into materials tab and we press new and we press this one and emission. Now you can see on the left side here, we got some light. We want to do that with all these three. So we can just click this and choose the material we, material we just made. Now we have the same material on all the, those three lamps. We can increase the value here or the strength of the emission. So I want to be 10. And now you can see the text is very bright. Maybe almost too bright, but we will, we will see. We can decrease it as we go along. Now the background, I want the background to be black. So just press this uh, world icon here and just drag down all the way down to the black color. Now, now that we've done this, we just need to um, to add an, a material for our text. But we're gonna do s a bit more to make this look uh, like a silver um, silver finish. First of all, I want to rotate my text. So I'm gonna set the origin to the center of mass. It will make it easier to rotate your text. Press R twice and rotate it how you want it. I think this is. Uh, this is not that necessary at all, but I think to make the text look more like 3D text and not just a 2D image. Now for the material part. Press uh, Materials tab and New. I will just press Glossy. Now what happened is that we just applied a glossy material that has zero roughness. So it's basically like a mirror. So it only reflects some parts of our text. But if we drag the value of roughness up a bit, we can see the text is slowly appearing. So we want to have this like glossy look on our text. So find a sweet spot. Maybe we want to move them uh, closer to uh, the actual text. Make sure to not put them inside the camera view but have them outside. Something like this. Maybe try to rotate your text to try to make it hit, um, hit the lamps that you set up. And when you're, uh, when you're happy with your results, maybe this is too strong pull it back a bit, press G to move and left click. I think this is all right. Okay, so the, the last step of this tutorial is just to render out your text and go to render tab. Now now we're rendering on our CPU. So the, the tile size is, I think it's correct. We can, we can set it a bit lower, maybe, maybe 32 will be all right. Uh, bigger tile sizes are best on GPU, smaller tile sizes are best on your CPU. If you want to render this in uh, 1920 by 1080, you can just drag this to 100%. I'm going to leave it at 50. And when you're done with this, press this button right here. Before we do that, we're just going to up the sample rate because it's it's kind of noisy uh, just in the preview and it's 32. So I want to have a sample rate of 300 and press render. All right, that's our text. You see, we can clearly see there's still some, some noise going on here, but um, you can increase your sample rate to get rid of the noise. You can also put more lights in there to get rid of some of the noise. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.